Hi everyone and welcome back to the AFC Bournemouth career mode on FIFA 21. This is episode 6 of the series and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. We are four games away, I believe, from the January transfer window in uh, 2021, of course. About to reach where we are in real life at the moment. Um, yeah, so we're currently doing very well. We are currently top of the league. 23 games played. We are on 45 points. And we have Rotherham away up next. Josh King's doing bits. 20 goals in, uh, I think... I think he's played 20 games as well, so uh, there you go. Anyway, let's get into this game, let's not waste any time, and let's get through the games to get to January. Oh, are you serious? We're in the snow? Oh, get out of it. We're in the snow against Rotherham today, and we need three points really badly against a team that are only just outside the relegation zone right now, I believe. And uh, we have had to rotate the side a little bit today. As you can see, we have a black man. <laughs> <coughs> We've had to bring in the likes of Surridge, and we had to bring in Kelly, Lerma, and Grisitsky as well, because we do have a game against Huddersfield in a couple of days, I think. We have four games in two weeks, so because of that, we have to rotate the squad for today a little bit, and then rotate it more with the other half that are missing, I guess you could say. Oh, well done, Lerma. What is Surridge doing? That was weird and retarded. Lerma into Lewis Cook. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. What a strike from Lewis Cook. Is that like his sixth goal of the season or something ridiculous like that? Not That's competitively and non-competitively because he scored two in preseason, I believe. Holy cow. That is a banger. Oh, my gosh. Surridge onto Lerma. Lerma could have played Surridge again, but Cook made a run, and you can't say no when Lewis Cook can do that. Ow, I just hit my arm on my chair. God damn it. There we go. Good half. 1-0 up. A little bit wasteful. I've not been too impressed with Surridge, but, you know, he's a young player. He doesn't start too often, so it's all right. You know, I'm willing to back Sam Surridge. You know, he's only, like, 22, maybe even younger. And, like, I backed Josh King after a score, a, a goalless opening game. So... You know, it's if you're judging it off one scoreless game, then, I mean, that's poor. But he, he, it's only halfway through this game, so why am I even talking about this? <laughs> Lerma into Surridge. Doesn't have any many options, sorry. He's found Brooks well, considering his demented run. Cook. Great run from Surridge. Into Lundström. Holy cow, it's another banger from a central midfielder. Oh, get in there. 2-0. That is a cushion for us. Now I'm really just focusing on the clean sheet. We have scored so many this season. We have scored so many. It's unreal. You can see here, Cook into Surridge. It's a Surridge assist. Laid off to Lundstrom. Brings it on his right. Easy finish. Every time Surridge plays, he gets a goal involvement. I can swear, like, every single time. It's OP, man. Sadly, uh, no. Oh, my God, if they scored that, I would have been fuming with Metham. Johnny Evans doesn't really have any options up the wing. Work it inside then. Brooks, Cook, straight down for Surridge. It's Sam Surridge for three. He scores again. Oh my words. Sam Surridge, take a bow, son. Literally, that is incredible. We are 3-0 up now. We are starting to get Ws on the board more and more often now. Still haven't made any changes. We're about an hour in as well, so I might want to make one soonish. I'm I'm happy just to dominate the championship this season. To be honest, our team is way too good for a league like the championship. With all due respect to it, you know it's like it's Premier League quality squad. I'm sorry to say, but it is, especially once we've started gelling together. You know, not used to Eddie Howe. Got to get used to Robo Ball, all that sort of stuff. I've got to call it something else. That just does not sound right. Rather than have one final chance here. Easy for Begovic, and a four bar, doesn't need to do anything, and that's a 3-0 win. Easy, yeah, easy, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So for some strange reason, the stamina glitch didn't carry over into this next game. I played more than 70 minutes, and it hasn't carried over. I'm not complaining, I'm just kind of frustrated that it was happening when I hadn't planned for it, and now that I have planned ahead for it, oh... I, it just, oh, so rotating was pointless, essentially. 
That's, uh, yeah, thanks EA, thanks a lot. Uh, it doesn't make sense. At least, if you're going to have bugs, at least be consistent with it. I never thought I'd say that. Um, this midfield three doesn't need to be touched. Front three does need to be touched. See you, Davo. Uh, in comes Junior Stanislas, who has been decent in the games he's played, and I am not afraid to throw this little beast on if he needs, if anyone needs to be subbed off. He's even 6'3". He's more of like a target man and finisher, you know. No, he's he's good with the ball at his feet. He can he can do some good things. King on form is 91 pace, 81 overall. It's good, man. We've got such a good squad. So let's go win this game. It's against Derby, by the way. Last time we played Derby, it was a one-all draw at Pride Park, I think, is where where their stadium is called, or what their stadium is called. But, um, yeah, so I don't want to repeat of that. I want to win because we are on a great little streak here at the moment. Rooney, the danger man, into Waghorn. Weirdest name ever. Here's Knight. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, that's so mean. I can't be laughing at someone's surname, man. That's just... Oh, it's Waghorn. <laughs> I love it. Waghorn. <laughs> there he is, Waghorn. <laughs> Waghorn. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, Waghorn. <laughs> Waghorn. That is amazing. Anyway, Josh King's in behind. It's probably going to be 1-0. Josh King, through on goal, scores, yep, Waghorn. <laughs> oh no! Waghorn! <laughs> okay, get a c- Oh, Waghorn! Okay, we're- <laughs> Oh. It's Burn. The ball in. Knight, oh, if he scored that header, I would have been concerned for his neck. Waghorn! Don't let Waghorn through. Oh, jeez. All right. Well done, boys. Graham Shinney. I think that's the guy that used to play for Aberdeen that scored against Bournemouth in real life, is it not? Oh, jeez. Oh, Rooney got his noggin on that one. Lewis Cook's been on fire in recent weeks. He plays it into junior Stanislas. Oh, he's missed. Boys, mark up. All right, Billing, get in the centre, mate. Oh, bloody hell. You had to change my plans like that. And then you even missed the tackle. Oh, get it out. Oh, okay. He's going for a 40-20. They have Jordan I playing for their reserves at the moment, don't they, Derby County? That's bizarre. I don't think we've gone scoreless in a game this season. Like, I think we've scored at least one in every game we've played. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think we... I think that's... Except for... No, no. Oh, except for the Birmingham City game. We lost 1-0 at home against Birmingham. And I think that's the only game we haven't scored in so far. That's pretty impressive. No wonder we've scored over 50 goals. Guys, also, if you've watched this far into the video, then please leave your prediction down below. How many goals is Joshua King going to get by the end of the season? Like, not in real life, because that's going to be, like, one at most. But I'm talking in this career mode. I personally reckon, like, 32. You know, for the average championship top goal scorer, it's probably, like, 27, 28 goals. Oh, and Waghorn misses a sitter. Oh, Waghorn. Oh, jeez. All right, Stanislas is in. Surely this is two. Stanislas. Oh, jeez. Why did I rush the shot? We've brought on Surridge. Now, I know I've brought him on in midfield, but what we're going to do is give uh, our team a change in formation. And wingers, two strikers, two midfielders. Should I go for to the 4-1-3-2? Yeah, why not? Let's go to the 4-1-3-2. Put Billing at CDM. Cook at that main central midfield role. And then we've got Surridge coming on again. I want to get him a lot more game time because, I mean, he's played seven, scored four, and assisted four. That's incredible. All right, one, two. Surridge, go. Surridge, go. Go. Why are you playing that to Stanislas, you retard? Stanislas back inside, though. It's Sam Surridge again. It's Sam Surridge again. What the hell is going on? I'm going to make my final two changes. Sam Surridge again. Honestly, what is happening? Anyway, Lerma's going to get a game. Cook's going to get a game because he's been out of the team for a while. Metham's been superb today, but Cook's going to get another game. 2-0. Please keep the clean sheet, boys. Um, yeah, Sam Surridge. Wow. Wow. I really want a clean sheet. Now, not that it's going to count towards the stats because for some reason there's a bug where if you win a game, regardless of, you know, 
how like how many clean sheets you've actually kept. If you win a game, that counts towards the clean sheets on the statistics tab. Not like individual for your club, I'm talking like for the competition. So apparently Azmir Begovic has, I think it said 14 clean sheets this season so far, which is obviously not right. So yeah, uh, I think I already showed you guys that like ages ago in episode 4 or something, or episode 3. Oh no, boys, oh thank you Begovic, jeez Louise. Come on, come on, it's in midfield ref, blow your whistle, there we go. 2-0 against Derby, such a nice, comfortable win. They looked pretty good towards the end there, Derby County, but ultimately, King scored, Surridge scored, you gotta love it. Alright boys, let's keep the win streak going. We've got Huddersfield, another home game here. And we definitely need a win once again. Let's skip straight to kickoff and get underway. Now I have rested Lewis Cook for this game and brought in Yoris Kotar just for some rotation, even though the stamina glitch again kind of just glitched out, I guess you could say. It's kind of just not occurred before last game and now before this game. Oh, and Lloyd Kelly's coming as well. Uh, yeah, and I decided to bring in Kotar because Cook was a little tired. He was like on 70% fitness, which isn't too bad. Daily into Mabenza. Oh, Johnny Evans, that's a brilliant challenge. And now Fashion Junior's coming forward, boys. Bloody hell, I hate that. When you clearly intend a through ball to go one way, that AI like on your team just go, nah, it would be so much better if it goes this way. Josh King, come on. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Dan Juma's done so well there. Oh, I wanted that to go to Kotar. You donkey. Kotar and Billing linking up there. Um, Lundstrom's in behind. He stopped his run. Where are some options? I'm going to have to go back to Billing. Inside to Josh King. Oh, my God. Oh, imagine. We are back underway for the second half. Fashion Junior kicks us off. I want to score more goals. Hiya! How is that not a penalty? I just took two players out and didn't get the ball. Holy cow. Fashion Junior on the ball. Billings missed it. Oh, no, how has he scored, Begovic? Oh, they have one chance, and they score it. I'm not losing. I'm not. We've been on such a good run. <laughs> Look at this. Ready? Look. Look. Do I even need to say anything? I clearly want that to go through to Dan Juma, and what does it do? It just passes it to freaking Lundstrom. Actually, no, never mind. It doesn't even pass it to Lundstrom. It passes it in that sort of area, but nowhere near him, straight to the opposition. What is this game? Yoris Kotar's through, no support from literally anyone. No, why, why? I, the, FIFA is so inconsistent, man. I, I cannot understand it. Actually, Dan Jim has been all right today. Stanislas has been poor. Brooks, come on. Surridge, come on. Surridge on the ball. Back heel into King. You've got so much speed on you, King. You should not be getting outpaced by anyone. Josh King. Easy. Easy finish. No, I don't care. We need to get back and score another goal. What did I tell you, Sam Surridge? Every single time he plays, he will get a goal involvement. Kelly. Jesus Christ. How is that a corner? How is that a corner? Why is the game favouring Huddersfield here? Away. Now, get the ball, Brooks. Oh, my God. That touch was shocking. Surridge into King. King to Lundstrom. Still waiting for that run from Dan Juma. Clearly onside. Dan Juma's got King in support. Dan Juma. I think King's offside. Oh my god, he's missed. He wasn't offside. Oh my god, Joshua King. Oh my god. Uh, I. Jo Yep, okay. And how just typical is this, right? So the stamina glitch just fades away for the last two games, and we still couldn't win that last one, God knows how. And now that we're playing second place Birmingham City, we have a very, very tired squad. What's all that about, huh? Why? Why is it back for the big game? I'm not going to start the whole conspiracy of whether this is a coincidence or not, but come on, EA, get your asses on it. And due to a very tired squad, I have had to rotate 
again. And um, yeah, it's not a great squad, seeing as we're travelling away to top of the league, who also beat us 1-0 at home. They haven't got a very fit squad, but it's so much fitter than ours. I mean, you can see Joshua King. He was one of the most fit players that played in that last game. i got to start him. He'll be coming off for Solanke, because of course, Surridge isn't fit either. We've also got Kilkenny starting. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got Lerma coming in as well. Carter Vickers and Steve Cook as our centre-back partnership. We've got Adam Smith coming in. Grasitsky as well. Oh, God. I think I'm going to be bringing on Raquelma and Solanke. Like, Solanke before half-time, I'm talking. I'm just leaving King on because he can do something special. And I'm praying that David Brooks just shows up a little bit in this game. Please. I like Birmingham City. You know, I've got a very soft spot for them, or a very soft, soft spot, I guess you could say. I don't know how to put that. Anyway, I'd love to see them back in the Premier League, even if it's just in this career mode. That, that would actually be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. Anyway, boys, we need an early goal. That is exactly what we need. Oh, my God. King's in. Please be onside. He is. Oh, my God. The choice to start Josh King has paid off. Joshua King, even at 38 fitness, can do that. Lewis Cook, by the way, fair play. Like, that ball was insane, and King wouldn't have done anything without that pass. But that feels like every single goal he scores, pretty much. It's like, you know when Lucas Nemecha played for Sunderland in um, MGH's career mode? I don't know who might have seen that, but that's literally all it is. Like, they play it in behind, he runs onto it, and he scores. Like, that's literally all it was. And same with, um, I don't know his first name, Chris Morris, I think his name is. Anyway, they're in, so we don't want to jinx ourselves. Okay, Hogan scores... He scored a lot of goals for Birmingham this season too. Right. The players that are fit need to step up, and I just want Josh King to be, you know, on the end of the chances, preferably. This is what I mean. Josh King! Yes! That is exactly what I was talking about. What a brilliant start to the game. You know, Gil Kenny out to Grisicki, and this is what I mean. Josh King on the end of the chances. The rest of the team doing the dirty work. Josh King on the ball. Krasitsky, King, oh that's nice boys, that's real nice, that's real nice, kill Kenny into Cook, Brooks, King, into Cook, oh that would have been an insane goal, boys, oh, Cook, Cook had a tough angle, I, I kind of panicked when I shot, maybe I could have played it through to King, if I, if I can get the ball through the gap there, which I just did, but just in a shot, if I did it in a pass version, then maybe that kind of might have gone to King, I don't know, Lerma hit this, ooh, the Filipino Neil Etheridge gets a hand to it, kill Kenny, King, David Brooks, oh my god, alert the media, David Brooks has scored, and we are 3-1 up against Birmingham. How has this happened? We've been all over them. Man, since that Hogan goal, they have been disappointing, man. This has been a really simple game. And I don't want to, like, sound cocky because technically we could still lose, knowing me. But that is a good goal. King with two goals and an assist. And let's just look how tired he is, by the way. He's nearly dead. Oh. Well done, Cook. Just hold on to the ball if you can't do anything with it. I wouldn't be too mad because we've not got a very typically strong side. Cook in behind. Josh King. Holy... <laughs> what is happening? I mean, this is just bizarre. Brooks, King, Cook, King again. And we're 4-1 up 43 minutes in. Sorry, come again? 4-1. Oh, nearly held on to it, but that's half-time. What a half! What a half! His performance has been quite extraordinary, but we do have to bring Joshua King off, and Dominic Solanke will come onto the field, and we are about to get the second half underway. Fresh legs up top, of course. Um, Brooks is probably going to be the next one. He's actually been fantastic today, David Brooks. He has been so much better. He's even got a goal, which is... I know, that's only his second goal of the season. That, yeah, just, yeah. Rico, bang it. Oh, great strike from Diego Rico, forcing a save out of Etheridge again. Wow, the boys have really turned up today. They've turned up when it matters. Kill Kenny, by the way. This kid has been on fire today. He didn't have a great 
well, it's not quite his debut, but he t it is, you know, Karimo debut for me. Uh, and he was exceptional in that. Brooks has done so much better today, and he's not even that tired. We're going to give Raquelma a go. I'm going to save probably the Aforba or Simpson substitution for after. I'm glad we've got a deep-ish squad, you know? We've got good squad depth. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I definitely believe that we have. And everyone can put in a shift if they really give, a go give it their best go. Um, oh, God. Boys. Boys. Ah, it's 4-2. I don't think we're in danger of dropping points. Certainly not losing, but you never know, man. It's 4-2 now. Birmingham have been shocking today, by the way. I've probably said that a few times, but they have seriously been bad. Oh, another great save from Etheridge. Requelma's finishing is not great, to be honest. There's me and my full kit. Good to see. Repping the lads. Ten minutes to go. It is 4-2. We are going to be running out winners at Birmingham City's uh, stadium. I don't know what the name of the stadium is, if I'm honest. So, yeah. But that's all right. I mean, in terms of man of the match today, I, I can't I can't think of one. I honestly can't think of one. Sanchez. Oh, Grasitsky, what a challenge. And there it is. 4-2 away against Birmingham. We have won a huge game. Biggest game of the season so far. And we really turn up. Joshua King needs a wheelchair, and he's going to collect the match ball. Involved in each of the goals. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, there we go. That is a huge win. What a relief. We are now in the January transfer window. And I just simmed a game in the FA Cup with my second team against Villa. We actually came out 2-1 winners. That is very good and surprising. We had goals from Lundstrom and Smith. And that may have been Adam Smith's final game. Now... I have put him up for sale, and actually I have literally sold him. Well, he hasn't gone yet, but about £5 million PSV are going to pay us for Adam Smith. Now, this is because, just for a January signing and potentially bringing in a, a younger player, I have been looking at this man, Jeremy Frimpong, maybe Emerson down the line, and these guys are just a few release clause bargains for the future, potentially. Uh, but Jeremy Frimpong, about 70-71 rated, I'm estimating, and he would be exceptional. What a signing he would be, around half a million to a million more than we sold Smith for. Maybe the same price, but I doubt it. He would be back up to Stacey and probably overtake Stacey in the future. Uh, and I've just shortlisted a bunch of players that I've been looking at. If we make it into the Prem, Neres is definitely a man I want to replace Brooks. I know he scored a freaking huge goal against Birmingham. However, no. Neres is the man we need. And I shortlisted Radu and Dela Cruz to see if, you know, they were still at the end of their contracts like they were at the start of the career mode, but they are not anymore. So we can actually just go ahead and remove them too. And yeah, I've also shortlisted Crep and Diata as another option for Nerez's replacement. Or we could switch him to left wing and he could play on that left-hand side for Dan Juma because Dan Juma's not going to be good enough until the end. And Diego Rico won't be either, so I've shortlisted Brandon Williams. You know, I'm thinking for the future here, especially with the likes of Thiago Almada here, Marley Ake. I've also got Nathan Ake because, you know, if the prodigal son returns, that would be amazing. But, um... Is that the end of the games for this episode? I think I think it probably is, uh, but we are going to sim a few days ahead, see if Adam Smith goes to PSV, and if so, we can buy Jeremy Frimpong in this episode, and there it is. Adam Smith has gone to PSV. How much money did we get? Four mil. Oh, we've got a risk of losing six players here. Let's have a look. Oh, my God. We have a risk of losing Begovic, King, Steve Cook, Stanislas, Aforba, Simpson. Of course, Carter Vickers and Raquelma are just on loan. That is huge. I want to keep them all. Maybe mm, Stanislas, he's been good though. Check out his stats from this season. Three goals, five assists. That's not too bad at all. However, if I'm going to sell him, I want to sell him for cash. So... Yeah, I probably want to renew his contract. I obviously want to renew Begovic's contract. King... Stupid if I don't. Just just take a look at his stats, man. 26 goals, 3 assists in 25 games. That is ludicrous. So for the final bit of action for this 6th episode of the Bournemouth Career Mode, it is going to be probably our only January signing. I'm not too sure, though. Of course, we just sold Adam Smith 
to PSV of the Dutch League. Now we're signing a Dutch right back in replacement. 72 overall, 20, 20 years of age. Jeremy Frimpong from Celtic, the Scottish Giants. Now it's going to be about, I'm going to estimate 7.5 to 8 million, you know, upwards of that uh, estimated value or maybe just to about its brink. So yeah, we're going to we're going to try and sign him and I think we will get this over the line and it's going to be quite a big chunk in the budget, but ultimately I think we've got like 16 million or something like that. After the Smith sale we might have more. Yeah, we've nearly got 20 mil, 95k on the wages. It is absolutely fine. So I'm going to be a bit cheap first. I'm going to offer 5 mil and let's see what they say to that. Uh, they want Kotar. No chance we are selling Kotar. So now let's bump this up to 5.2 mil. Um, I'm not letting you have any of my players. I don't want to sell any. Oh my god, 5.3? Yes. Yes. Every day of the week I'm taking that. I thought it would be like 3 mil more minimum. That is incredible. What a deal that is. And, um, I mean, yeah, we this should be a pretty good... Signing. I mean, Frimpong is one of the best young right backs on FIFA 21 career mode. I've never signed him before, so this is going to be very, very awesome. He's going to be a special player for us. I don't know if I drop Stacey. We'll find out. We will find out. I'm going to put rotation, but I think he might want important. Oh, no, he wants rotation. Very, very nice to see. How many years? I'm, of course, I'm going to try a five year contract, and he accepts it. Very nice. No release clause. This is going perfectly. Please offer me. Or please ask. Yes, he's willing to almost cut his wages in half. All right. Uh, I'm going to remove this signing bonus, but then I'm going to up this to 14K. 14.1, whatever. Please accept. He's obviously accepted it. Oh, Jeremy Frimpong. That is a great signing there. Let's go and assign him a shirt number. Uh, let me just think. Does anyone have the number two? Because I think that might be the best number. No, he now has number two. All right, that's good. All the top numbers are taken. I don't really like Lloyd Kelly having number five. So next season, I might have to change that to like 15, what Adam Smith just had. And yeah, I don't think I want to do anything else to the squad. Brooks will be gone next transfer window. Two goals. The eight assists are nice, but what else has he done, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be going next season. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Solanke has been alright. Why am I still checking the stats? There's no need. Anyway, thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. No. We need to sort out some contracts now to end the episode. So, I think we need to start with Begovic. Uh, I wanted to take a pay cut. So, let's try 8k. He takes 13k, but no extension. Why? That is so pointless. That is the... Like, I get it's fine if you don't want an extension on, like, a three-year contract for, like, a young player that wants a pay increase, but what? What? No years on your last con year of contract. That just doesn't make any sense. He'll take one year because you can go one year flexible up or down. So what's his weight? Well, he said 13K last time, didn't he? So I'll try 11, and he's going to want more, unfortunately. 68,000 signing bonus. Let's just try it without the clean sheets bonus, and he'll take it. That's good. I'm happy to pay that for Azmir Begovic. So let's go further up the list. Josh King, Steve Cook, Stanislas, Aforba, and Simpson. I want to do Simpson now. Uh, oh, what's he currently on? 3K. We're going to have to probably double that. No, we'll go 5.5, and he'll take an extra year. And apparently that didn't work. I... Why is FIFA so buggy, man? Um, Yeah, 2.2k for Nemendia Forba. I don't know, man. Two years for him. Oh, it's doing that stupid glitch where it doesn't show it initially. Don't worry, it is working. Um, Stanislas now, 11k. I'm not so sure about that, mate. And a one-year extension. They're not taking big extensions, are they? 14k he takes. Steve Cook, we're, of course, going to do 13k. He'll take 13k. And again, just the one year. That's poor, man. All right, King, there's no way I'm paying him near that much money. Um, actually, I want to try and go like 18 k He'll take it. Um, a year, really? That's poor. I'm very disappointed in that. Uh, but at least we've tied them down for at least another year. And, of course, we have Frimpong coming into the squad. So does he... Oh, stacy has gone up in overall. I can't start... Uh, What's his face? Frimpong over him at the moment. But 
You know, he's he's decent. He can play anywhere on the right hand side. 90 pace is very nice. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you are enjoying the series, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I'm feeling good about the series so far. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will hopefully see you all in the next video.